everyone, it's Shannon. I'm so excited to have you back here today for another five minute DIY tutorial. These are some of my favorites too. DIYs don't have to take a lot of time. Some of the best ones actually are really, really quick. So today I have five different five minute DIYs. So let's go ahead and jump right in. This first project is so simple and I even use products from the Dollar Tree. I'm starting with four mason jars that I had on hand. These are all pint sized and also some burlap style ribbon that I cut down to size so they would all fit around and wrap around those mason jars. My ribbon is about two and a half inches thick. Now I'm just using my hot glue gun to wrap the ribbon around the mason jar. I even added a little bit of hot glue underneath the ribbon so that it would stick to the mason jar itself and that kept the ribbon from sliding down and falling off the jars. I'm gonna be adding the word home to my mason jars using these poster stickers that I found at Dollar Tree. They fit perfectly on this burlap ribbon. You just add them straight onto the front. Super duper simple and easy and so, so quick. I would love to hear your ideas on what you would add to the inside of your jars, whether it be flowers or if you put this in an office and use them to store your pens or crafting supplies. Let me know down in the comments below. Next is a super simple ring holder display board. I'm using a scrap piece of 1x6 that I had in my workshop. You can see it's sort of finished, but sort of not finished. If you don't have this, you can also find plaques or pieces of wood. This one is from the Dollar Tree. And what I'm doing here is using my traditional burnt umber acrylic paint to just finish up those ends so I have more of a finished look. Now how you finish your board is completely up to you and your style. This part will actually take you longer than five minutes, but I thought it was worth sharing with you just so you could see how I finished my board. I really wanted to give it a grain sack farmhouse style look. So I'm adding painter's tape to the end there and creating a thicker stripe at the bottom. Once that was dry, I added three more stripes of painter's tape to create two more thin stripes on the end. I really liked the look of this and ended up copying this on the other side as well. So you can see here the thinner stripes where I just added some chalk paint to before removing the painter's tape and then repeating the process on the other end. And now with my decorative touch added, it's time to move on to adding the sawtooth picture hanger to the back. I love these because they have little teeth on the sides, so it makes it super easy to just hammer them down straight into your wood signs. I did find the middle using a tape measure, found the middle, and then just used a hammer to affix it to the back. I will put a link to these down in the description box. You can find them on Amazon. I love these. Super duper easy and quick way to hang your signs. Next, I'm using some cup hooks. I found these at Walmart and I measured in three inches from each side and down two inches from the top and added my two cup hooks. These ring boards come in so handy if you place them in areas where you may frequently remove your rings, whether you are cooking or cleaning or crafting and just need a place to store your rings until you need them. This next idea is a super simple and quick way to update old flower pots. And all you have to do is add on some placemats. So depending on your style or holiday, you can just wrap a placemat around your flower pot and secure them with safety pins. 
I love this idea for indoor plants especially, but depending on your placemat, you may have one that would work for outdoor use as well. I absolutely love the soft touch that this placemat gave to my indoor plant. Being that there are so many different placemats available, I feel like you could get so creative with this idea. Next is a pretty special sachet. We actually had our guests at our wedding throw herbs down the aisle as we walked up together as husband and wife. Each herb stands for something different, whether it's prosperity, protection, or strength and I really wanted a sachet to keep in my she shed as a little keepsake but I really wanted it to have that farmhouse look so I always have muslin fabric on hand and so I'm just using my hot glue gun and a pair of scissors to create this you can even find fabric glue sticks in an occasion where you maybe don't want to sew I'm just using regular glue here since I won't be washing this but I cut my muslin fabric down into basically a rectangle, maybe about five inches square, big enough that I could put those herbs inside in the middle. So I just opened up that rectangle, poured in my herbs before using my hot glue gun to seal up those three sides. Then I just kind of mushed it around, moved it around, made sure it was all kind of dispersed and mixed up before adding some lace tied around the middle just to dress it up a bit. So I love this idea. You can also use cotton balls in place of herbs and add some essential oils or even find some potpourri that you could put inside and use it that way. Such a simple, simple and easy way to add some scent as well as some style to your space. I love this plant stand idea. It's so inexpensive. I just purchased a tomato cage from my local tractor supply store. It was only $3.50. I kind of came in thinking I could just use a metal saw blade and saw the long parts off. However, I quickly found out that they were a little bit too thick so I had Brian go and find some heavy-duty wire cutters and so I needed his muscle to actually get those pieces off he just snipped them off it looks kind of easy but he said actually a grinding disc on a uh, wheel would probably take these off a lot easier so just maybe some muscle if you have them but if not a grinding disc probably would be your best bet to get those poker parts off next it was pouring down rain so I was not able to take this outside to spray paint it so I used my white chalk paint and just gave it a couple coats uh, you could get really creative with this and make this metallic colors you could make them bright colors so just get creative with it you can use these indoors and outdoors if you're going to use them outdoors definitely i recommend spraying them with a clear matte spray Once everything is all painted, then you just need to find yourself either a flower pot or a hanging basket that is large enough to not fall down through the middle of that top circle. And like you can see here, I have a beautiful fern on the top, but you could even add a piece of wood to the top and make a side table out of it. So many cute ideas with such an inexpensive piece of garden equipment. I have more five minute DIYs popping up on your screen that I hope you will check out next. If you haven't yet, please subscribe for weekly DIYs, tutorials, and new inspiration. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.